Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel today for the final of the highlights of Season 29 Wars. And this one is actually going to be starting off with a boss fight. So I did actually have a couple of interesting fights this war. There's a rank 4 Doom on Path Scythe in Section 1. And for that one, for some reason, only half of the fight recorded. And then I also took a Kingpin on No. 53 with Doom and that one I just completely forgot to record because of how much pressure this war had. And yeah, you will have seen that I actually am running half suicides for this fight and that is because of the stakes of this war at this point. The opposing alliance have finished the map and they died five times and we had around 20 fights left and we had also died five times. So this war we needed to be as fast as possible so I am running half suicides in this fight with Symbiote Supreme and you're going to see that I just play like a complete and utter idiot to try and speed this fight up as much as possible. So here we just got a couple of special freeze off and now you're just going to see some really strange gameplay. So I'm not trying to bait out his special or anything like that whereas normally I would be. Here I literally just throw a special in, into his block so I don't get pushed to another special free because that would just waste more time. And yeah, just really, really weird gameplay just to try and speed it up. Here he's just sitting at a special free and not doing anything. Just going to throw a special one at him. And yeah, it's a complete mess of a fight but it was probably faster than if I played it safer. And that was what was needed in that war, and we did end up winning by around 5 minutes on the tiebreaker. So the win in the last war actually did secure us Masters, but we needed to win one of the last two to make top 10. And of course, we ended up matching New Nation in War 11. And yeah, they actually ended up clearing us Deathless, so this was pretty much a guaranteed loss. However, I am still going as hard as I can in this war. We need to try and maximise attack bonus and things. And yeah, here is Doom against Ebony Moore on Ebb and Flow Intercept. Now, generally this fight will be taken by a torch. However, it just worked out that I was going to be going on this path and couldn't really bring torch for this war. So I'm going to be using Doom for it. And here I'm basically just trying to land an intercept before I get my special free off. Which we do there. And now we're just going to doom cycle him and try to take him down. Special free does a very solid amount of damage. Ebony Moore as a champion is not particularly tanky. Now he does actually decrease our ability power rate while focusing, which is why you saw there he just barely gained any power from that special 1. But yeah, we get the special 2 off and this will finish him off. So yeah, I was somewhat worried about that fight going in, but Doom absolutely annihilated it. And now for the rest of the war, we've got some ghost fights going on. So this next one is a Killmonger on Node 37. So this is Heaven Flow Intercept and Mighty Charge. This is a very, very common placement for Killmonger. He is very strong on this node. However, Ghost and Wasp, especially with a power start 1, just it doesn't matter what Killmonger does in this fight because it ends in less than 20 seconds. He doesn't even get his second reverberation up. But now we're moving on to some of the slightly less clean fights of the war. And this is a matchup I genuinely have no idea why I decided that Ghost would be great for this fight. Because she just is not good for this fight really. I was initially planning on basically building up to a special 2 through phase hits and then trying to chain them with a power boost. But I also opted to use an invulnerability boost instead of a power start boost in case he's getting to special freeze. And I just realised my power is going up extremely, extremely slowly compared to his. So I basically changed the fight plan to mainly just focus on dealing regular damage. 
And yeah, I think he's got some sort of power steel mechanic on his special two that I also didn't really know about going into this fight. Which is just going to make it even longer to get up to my special. So, for the most part, I'm just not going to worry too much about baiting specials from him. I've got three invulnerability charges. And he will probably go down before he gets a fourth special free off. So as long as we play relatively safe apart from just pushing him to special freeze, we should be fine. Obviously this is stunning reflection so we don't want to accidentally parry him or anything. So we're mainly just going to be baiting out heavies and stuff like that. We don't really want him to be using too many special ones because if he gets to 10 of his hatred charges and then throws another special, then he's going to go unstoppable and unblockable and stuff like that, which obviously isn't great. See, we've only got one bar of power in this whole fight, so if I did opt to go for a power start one instead of an invulnerability, it would have still taken way too long to get up to the special two, and I probably would have died before making it there. So yeah, the invulnerability probably was the right call. But yeah, at this point he's not got that much health left, but I do need to sort of turtle up and stop him from using any more special ones so he doesn't get any hatred. Here we finally make it up to the special two and that will just be used to finish him off. So yeah, very far from a clean fight, not really a great matchup, but we do make it through. And yeah, we get the full attack bonus. And this next fight is going to follow a very similar story to that Mangog fight. So an alliance mate in Battle Group 3 took this fight a couple of wars ago without no 49 up. And it went absolutely flawlessly. Did it in about 40 seconds. But that was because that didn't happen. Chavez just throws a heavy out of nowhere. Gets her third dimension up and what that is going to do is it's going to decrease my ability power rate by 60%. So that is going to be power gain from the SIG ability and from the tech power boost. So that is going to massively extend this fight whenever it is active. It is nearly expiring here. So at this point I'm like yeah it's fine. Get back into the rhythm of the fight but she decides to throw a heavy out of nowhere again. It does also give a 40% power, forty percent of a bar of power every special one she throws. Which is also just the problem and now I'm getting backed into the corner. And the special 2 is also going to be completely unblockable. Now she throws it again. So my ability power rate is actually going to be slightly reversed at this point. See the power boost actually brings it down to completely zero. Now she's got this unblockable special 2. Thankfully it times in that I can just phase the entire beam and that timing, that look on that probably did save me in this fight. Here she throws another heavy so she's got that ability power gain reduction back up again. Now she's got another special two. I managed to evade the first two hits but get hit by the third. Thankfully it doesn't crit. And at this point I just need to get this special 2 off and get out of this fight. Which we managed to do. But yeah, that is extremely rough and I did get extremely lucky on the timing of the first special 2 and also that the second one didn't crit. So this is the final war of the season. And I'm actually taking an Annihilus on this node here. This is... Hazard shift with Ghost, and Ghost vs. Nihilus is generally considered a pretty poor matchup, but he dies too quickly before anything can happen. And yeah, then we've got a couple more fights here. We've got Bishop on the 53. This is also with the Ghost Trinity. And yeah, we just need to build up to special two and cycle a couple of them in this matchup. So yeah, it's not really that difficult of a fight overall. I think this placement was much stronger while true focus was there because Ghost can't get power to get to the special two if it is. 
Now, Bishop Special 1 also applies Incinerates, which are just going to fuel Ghost Damage even more. Yeah, throw off this Special 2 with two Furies active, and it takes him down to 1%, so we just use a Special 3 to finish him off. And then my final fight of the season is going to be another Mojo boss, No 49 active, Full Ghost Trinity. Did this fight a couple of times in the third week of wars. This one is going to go a lot rougher than those. But yeah, Ghost is just absolutely brilliant for this matchup. Here I decide to wait and try and get another debuff, which we do, and that pushes us up to a second special 2. But there, for some reason, I run straight into a special 1. But here we go for another special 2, deals some pretty solid damage, gets us back up on power, then we throw a special 2 into the air. Thankfully, he it manages to connect, and now he's got anti-life active. He's going to throw a special 2, and I just up to block the whole thing probably could have evaded some of it but just wasn't a need but yeah it does go down thank you all for watching and i'll see you all in the next season of alliance war